Welcome to today's TCI Tuesday session. And today we're gonna to talk about the TCI lesson cycle. I think what's important for us to understand, first of all, is that TCI is unique among the programs that we've had in social studies for many years because it is a lesson-based platform. So typically with textbook adoptions, you get a textbook and support materials that come with it. Sometimes there are some suggested lessons that you can do that align to that textbook. But what's different about TCI is that it is lesson based. So the textbook is designed around the lesson. Uh, some of you may have heard this before. We've talked about this with TCI having started as a professional development company built around a set of instructional strategies. And from there, they took those instructional strategies and built them into lesson-based materials. Originally, those were on the supplemental text market. The readings would be built into the supplemental reproducible materials that you could use in, in the classroom. But in recent years, TCI has uh, merged into the core textbook market, um, but it's still with that same lesson-based pedagogy. So what's important for us to understand when we're teaching um, TCI is that we are teaching a lesson-based platform. That doesn't mean that you always have to go through each component of a lesson. You can, of course, pull out parts of various lessons and make them work into your own lesson plan. But it is something to be aware of, especially if it's not a, a platform, a program that we're used to being driven by all of these components working together into a comprehensive lesson. And you may find in many cases that the lesson cycle itself, the lesson as it's in TCI works well for you, or even with just some minor tweaks uh, can work well in your particular classroom situation. So that's why we wanna spend time thinking about the TCI lesson cycle this week. And next week we'll get into, we'll start looking at some of the specific TCI strategies again, based on their overall pedagogical approach. So the lesson cycle itself really starts here, as you can see in this graphic with the essential question that underpins this particular lesson. All of TCI's lessons are built around an essential question and the learning activities are designed to help students think about this essential question in meaningful ways. If you're familiar with programs like Backward Design, UBD, you're familiar with the idea of overarching essential questions and unit-specific essential questions. And this is really based on that same philosophy. It's to give students an open-ended question, something that is uh, debatable, something that may be provocative, something for which students can uh, marshal evidence in support of a, a particular response to this essential question. So all of TCI's lessons are built, first of all, around essential questions. So when you get into a specific lesson, and TCI calls them lessons, not chapters, uh, for this very reason, because they're all built around the lesson cycle itself, not just a chapter in a textbook. You start with the preview activity. And this is really the idea here of connecting this new lesson content to prior knowledge. And that may be something that students have in their own background knowledge that they're bringing to the table that you're going to make that connection. It may be something from a previous uh, grade level class, but it may also be something uh, from a previous lesson in this class. But that really is the essence of the preview activity. Uh, this is not just uh, a traditional warm up activity or a bell ringer or a sponge activity. To, to give students something to do in the first 10 minutes of class or, or whatever. It really is the idea of previewing the content by making that connection. And what, what's going to happen here is students are going to move from the known to the unknown. So the preview is really a critical part of the lesson. Again, more than just saying this is a warm up or this is something to get you started in class. This is really a way of establishing um, what's going to be learned in this lesson that connects to what I already know as a student. Uh, and that's a really critical component of cognitive learning theory, of constructivist learning, is that we move from known to unknown. 
So don't skip the preview. It's critical. Some of the previews are short. Some of them uh, are longer. They may even take um, most of a class period in some cases for a preview activity. So they're not just these five minute warm up kinds of activities to give students something to do. Then you get into the activity or the engagement strategy. And this is generally where the textbook readings are incorporated. Sometimes portions of the textbook reading are also incorporated into the preview, especially in the introduction, but I've seen preview activities that even include some of the sections of the textbook as well. But for the most part, uh, textbook activities start to be incorporated into the textbook readings rather start to be incorporated into the activity portion of the lesson. So this is where you have the activity and it's really the engagement strategy. This is, this is the core instruction of what takes place. Right. So you've done your preview, you're into your engagement strategy. Uh, what are those engagement strategies? Well, this is based on TCI's uh, six active learning or multiple intelligence teaching strategies. I'm going to take you over to the TCI implementation page. Remember, this is our TCI home base page. If you haven't seen this before, uh, it's accessible from the social studies homepage. On the right hand side, always under featured resources are the TCI home base and on demand PD. If you ever need to get to this quickly, just go to ccsoh.us slash social studies and it will be there for you. So I'm on the TCI implementation page and I've clicked on the button that says TCI 6 active learning strategies. So here are those strategies laid out for you. There's just a brief description on this page. And then for each of those strategies, there's a link to a short blog post on TCI that will explain the strategy in a little bit more depth. And then that's followed by a short video demonstration of an actual classroom uh, implementing this strategy along with some teacher reflections. So that same process is followed for each of the TCI strategies. Now we will start to get into uh, the TCI strategies in more depth in some of these sessions. Next week, we'll start with Social Studies Skill Builder, which is our strategy of the month, as we're calling it. So we're going to get into some more depth into what these strategies look like in the classroom. But for today, I just want to alert you to that fact and to let you know where those um, are located. So that's the TCI strategies. Again, those are generally built into the activity or engagement strategies, usually coupled with the textbook reading. I wanna also note here, what I haven't said yet is that the textbook reading is also always connected to the notebook activity. So TCI is the inventor, the creator of the interactive notebook strategy. So they're very well known for the interactive notebook, which is used by uh, many other products now and, and, and teachers across the country use the interactive notebook strategy. But that is always tied as well to the textbook reading. So when you see textbook reading, know that textbook reading and notebook are always paired together in TCI. And usually that occurs in some way as part of the engagement strategy as one of those six strategies. Uh, sometimes those strategies are also incorporated into preview and processing assignments as well. So it's not only in this core instructional phase here that's associated with the textbook reading and notebook. Uh, those, are, those can be incorporated into preview and, and processing as well. Okay, so the next step then are the processing assignments. And these are the ways in which students then take the information they've learned through the activity, the engagement strategy, they begin to synthesize and apply their learning in creative ways. Uh, processing assignments give students the opportunity uh, very often to um, write out things, maybe to draw, to create, um, and, and really tap into some of those multiple intelligences. Processing is also usually accompanied then after a processing task with a more formal assessment. Uh, and those are simply found in the TCI assessments category. I'm going to show you back on the TCI platform where you can see all these in just a minute as well. So then finally, the sort of culmination of the lesson cycle, and this is really outside of the individual discrete lesson, is really more at the unit level. And this is where students either work on a timeline or on a unit inquiry. So kind of a culminating inquiry task that helps them pull together some of the various individual lessons uh, that, are, that are incorporated throughout the unit. Now, this varies a little bit from program to program. 
Some of the programs like seventh grade and eighth grade that, that are more history driven are based on uh, incorporate timelines into that unit task. Um, I'll show you the government alive in just a minute that incorporates what they call the political inquiry, more of the, the inquiry based task. But in either case, they're designed to sort of pull things together. This doesn't show up in some of our customized programs, um, like the global issues, for example, because we have not necessarily pulled an entire TCI unit. Um, these don't really have that, that unit inquiry. Uh, some of the other ones, like in grade six, will have um, some timelines based on the you know, specific um, lesson content there. If it's, if it's the ancient history content, they will have the timelines, but they don't necessarily um, for, for each lesson. So some of those customized programs are a little bit different. So that's the TCI uh, lesson cycle in a nutshell from essential question to preview, engagement strategy and activity, processing and summative assessment, and then the culminating unit task, either a timeline or a unit inquiry. So let me jump over then to the TCI platform and just show you where do you find these when you're looking at your program, where do you see the lesson cycle built into it? You won't see that graphic really built in here. So I want to just point you to where do you find uh, all those various components as you're planning your lesson. So I'm in Government Alive, Power of Politics and You, our high school government program. And I've gone over here to the, to the content menu. And this is where I can see the program content from start to finish, right? I like this page. It gives me a nice overview of the entire program. Up here under modify view, I can decide what I want to see on this page. So you can see I have everything checked right now. That seems to make the most sense. It gives me the most detailed information and I can see exactly uh, what I need to see, everything that I need to see from this page. Um, so for example, the nature of power, uh, politics and government, I get a brief description and there's my essential question. Why should you care about politics, power, and government? A great essential question for the entire government course, uh, but for this intro unit especially. Um, so if I scroll down here, this is gonna, going to be the same kind of uh, process for each of these units and each of these lessons. So if I get into foundations of American government, again, you can see here's my essential question. What ideas gave birth to the world's first democratic nation? Uh, and then you can see the core teaching strategy is represented here. And this is an experiential exercise as the core teaching strategy. There'll be some other things built into the lesson, obviously, but this is when you see teaching strategy, this is really what's in that engagement strategy, one of the TCI six active learning multiple intelligence teaching strategies. So if I dig into a specific lesson, let's just go ahead into the United States Constitution. Now I can begin to see that lesson cycle at work inside of here. So we have, and I'm under lesson guides. When I go into a specific lesson, I'm on the lesson guides. And the first tile I see are complete lesson guides. Okay, that's going to have the, the entire cycle in it in a presentation format from start to finish. And then I see the individual tiles where it really breaks down the lesson cycle. So I see the preview activity, and it's going to give me a description. The activity, here's that engagement piece, that really core instru uh, instructional strategy. It also includes vocabulary, which can be done during this time. Here's my processing assignment. Again, in this particular situation, students are going to write a paragraph explaining what change they would make in the Constitution and why. Um, so that really covers the preview, the engagement strategies, and the processing right here from this uh, lesson guide page. And these are all in presentation format. These are editable so that you can, you can change them for yourself. You can also share these, use the share with students icon so that these show up in uh, students platforms as well. Now, the one piece that you won't see on here are the assessments, right? This is in addition to the processing assignment, these are the more formal assessments, the tests. And there are always two different pre-made tests for each of the lessons, but you can also take a look at the question bank. In this case, there's only 16 questions here in the question bank. But remember, this is just a single lesson assessment. So uh, even though we might say this is a, a summative assessment for the lesson, 
um, it can really be used in a formative way to help you plan in, in future lessons as well. So um, that's where you find the assessment piece that really completes that part of the cycle. Now, I mentioned the unit inquiry. So let me go back to the content page. The unit inquiry is really a separate lesson built into the platform. So I'm going back to my content page and I'm going to see, because this is kind of a culminating task, you can see here, political inquiry, creating school policy here for this unit. I go down here, solving a local problem. So you can see how these are kind of pulling together um, the information that students have learned in the lesson. And because this is government and there's an expectation of sort of civic engagement, uh, you can see uh, the nature of some of these political inquiries is really uh, not just to pull together lesson content, but sort of you know, take informed action as we would call it in the C3 framework. So that is an example of what a program looks like in the lesson cycle. That's from Government Alive. Let me go into a different one. Let's go into uh, History Alive grade seven. So you can see just some differences there in a middle school program. This one is not uh, really a CCS customized edition. History Alive, TCI has customized an Ohio edition, but we pretty much use a standard uh, Ohio edition for that. So a lot of these components you'll see here again from the same dashboard. Uh, I have almost everything checked. I could check to see what the literacy strategies are incorporated there as well. And again, the same thing. I'll see a description. I'll see the essential question, how did democracy develop in ancient Greece? The core teaching strategy is there as well. And then if I scroll down, I get to, in this case, a timeline. So um, this is a history-based program for seventh grade. So the timeline for ancient Greece is actually in a separate lesson and they have um, the timeline challenge and how it connects to some of the various world history themes. Um, these timelines are not simply a matter of placing objects on a timeline. They do actually include some, um, some outside research. And so students are synthesizing and analyzing information, not simply placing them onto um, a, a generic timeline here. So uh, these are good inquiry-based skills that help to pull together the discrete information from the lessons. So that is really the TCI lesson cycle in a nutshell. And again, just a reminder, it's not imperative to do every single aspect of every single TCI lesson. On the other hand, it is a lesson-based platform and all of this stuff does work together. So we don't want to get into the habit of just saying, like, I'm just going to use the TCI textbook or just the textbook and notebook. But we do want to think about how do we build all of these other instructional strategies into what we do uh, in our, our core instruction.